Chapter 5 Warm-Up, Algebra 1 Exponent Review, our essential question. How do you use properties of exponents? We are now being asked to evaluate the expression using a calculator, and we're supposed to rand our answer to two decimal places when appropriate. So here's my calculator. I have 9 to the, and now I want to type in my exponent. My exponent's a fraction. So if my exponent is a fraction, I'm going to actually type my exponent in as a parenthesis so that they know the entire thing is actually in the exponent. And now I'm going to go ahead and enter, and when I do, it gives me a long decimal. So this is the decimal answer that I'm supposed to put down. So 1.55185, except for it told me to round it to two decimal places, which means I'm supposed to cut it off right here. The 5 is the last number to be written, but whether he stays as a 5 or goes up as a 6 depends on the first number cut off. Because he's less than 1, my final answer is 1.55, and I am done. Doing the next problem. On my calculator, I have the number 12 that I am raising to a fraction exponent. I am going to put my exponent in an entire parenthesis so I can tell my calculator, hey, this entire thing is actually supposed to be in the exponent. And now I'm going to go ahead and enter. It gives me my decimal. This is the decimal my calculator gave me, but I'm supposed to round to two decimal places. So that means I'm cutting it off right here. The first cutoff number, 9, is going to boss the 3 around and tell them to go up one more. So my final answer is a 2.54. The next problem, I need to rewrite this when it has an exponent instead. So the base was 7. The denominator of the fraction exponent was the root of a 4. And the numerator was the 3. This is what I'm going to type into my calculator to try and find my decimal answer. So 7 was the base. I am raising it to an exponent. A calculator, my exponent is a fraction, so I'm going to put you in a parenthesis so you know that entire thing is my exponent. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. So this is the decimal I got, but I'm supposed to round it to two decimal places. So here is the second decimal place. The first number cut off was a 3. He's a bossy pants, and he's going to say 0, you're going to stay where you are. So my rounded number is 4.30. There are four problems left on the page. Please do those four problems for independent practice.